In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add people to both company and team manage projects. Let us begin with company manage projects. So you need to navigate to your project settings. If you're not seeing the project settings, that means you're not the project administrator. And in order to add the people to your project, you need to be the project administrator to both add and remove people to from the project. So we're going to navigate to the people. And in here, I'm going to add. So first, I'm going to remove myself from here. Okay. So you click on add people. Then you search for the user. And then you're going to choose the role that you're going to assign to them. And each role is actually interconnected with your permission schemes within the company manage project. So like browse project, uh, browse projects, permission, actually needs to every role needs to have it except the public role because like public role and any logged in user why these two because for the public means anyone on the internet can actually see the project any logged in user means that basically anyone that is within your instance can actually see your project and its issues Okay, so that is how you add someone uh, to the company manage project for the team manage project. There are some things that uh, need to be known. So first of all, uh, company manage pro uh, team manage project has free access levels, open, limited, and private. When it comes to open, it means that basically anyone within the instance and anyone that has access to this instance right here they're actually can uh, create they can edit uh, the issue they can add comments to that issue they can do a lot of this, that stuff when it comes to limited it means that um, anyone from this site they can view the issue and they can comment the issue and that's it on private means that when you actually invite the users and those users are actually joining that project only they can see the project except Jira administrators because Jira administrators can even see uh, these private uh, team managed projects so that's one thing. The second thing that uh, you should know is the team manage project comes with the three custom roles. One is administrator, then you have the member and the, you have the viewer. So the administrator is the one who can actually add the other project administrators to the team manage project. They can remove the people they can have automation rules they can um, they can restrict uh, restrict issue types and so on and so forth so I'm gonna go with uh, this user and I'm going to say that this user is going to be a viewer for this project and then I'm going to add myself in here and I'm going to be a project administrator Another thing that you actually should know is when you click on manage the roles, you can create your own custom role in here and you can define what kind of permissions, what people within this role can actually do. Can they delete attachments? They can, they can delete any comment, any issue, restore any archive issue. Uh, manage the sprints, access development tools, and so on and so forth. There are actually a lot of stuff in here. So that is another thing that you should know that you can do within the team managed projects. Yep.
that's all don't forget to like share subscribe to the channel see you guys bye